Have you seen the latest article about estrogen in the brain in the New York Times? It's a must read. It dives into how hormones like estrogen actually sculpt the brain and could completely transform how we treat neurological conditions, particularly for women in midlife. One of the most exciting discoveries comes from Dr. Lisa Moscone, director of the Women's Brain Initiative at Weill Cornell Medicine. Using advanced PET imaging, Dr. Moscone found that estrogen receptors are present throughout the entire brain. She said, they're everywhere. We couldn't even find a region that was completely empty. Research from the Center for Innovation in Brain Science has also shown that estrogen doesn't just influence neuron firing. It helps neurons turn glucose into energy, reduces inflammation in the brain, enhances neuroplasticity, and prevents plaque buildup, all essential for maintaining brain health as we age. Emerging science highlights the critical importance of timing. Hormone therapy may offer the greatest benefit when started earlier, closer to the onset of menopause, during a critical window, when the brain is still highly responsive to estrogen's protective efforts. Scientists now believe that the drop in estrogen at menopause may partly explain why women are twice as likely as men to develop Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Brinton's work shows that menopause triggers a starvation response in the brain, forcing it to shift from using glucose to relying on alternate energy sources, a vulnerable state that may increase the risk for neurodegenerative diseases. This reminds us that hormones like estrogen aren't just about fertility or hot flashes. They're deeply connected to how our brains age, adapt, and thrive.